I would like you uh, to ask you to, if you give me your permission, to use this film for educational and teach other doctors and for web publishing. Mm -hmm. Do you give me your permission? You got my permission for anything. Okay. Now, first of all, it's hard to believe, but tell me how old you are. 91 years old. Excellent. Now, tell me about your symptoms before the surgery. My sleeping before the surgery? Your, your symptoms. My symptoms? Your pain and your... I had pain in my left leg and my back. How bad was the pain? Yeah. Pretty How bad? bad. I got to the point that I went to the doctor. Yes, yes. You know, can you tell me 1 to 10 how bad you would rate that oh, pain? 10. 10, okay. Now, when was the surgery? The first surgery? I don't know, one surgery. Oh, February, no, March 29th. March 29th. And uh, how long has it been now? It's about two weeks now. Two weeks now. Okay. And now, after two weeks, what, what do you notice about the, your symptoms and pain? The only symptoms I got now is a little tenderness in the back where they had the staples in. Okay. What, the leg pain is gone? The rest of the pain is gone. No pain in my left leg. Um, no numbness. Excellent. Now, I see that you still need uh, this uh, device to walk a little. And uh, w what is the difference between the walking you could do before the surgery and now? Do you well, notice any difference? I can walk the same now, but I, I'm just kind of cautious because of surgery. So yes. I use this walker. Could you walk without it? Could I what? Could you walk without this walker? Oh yeah, I, I walk without it. Okay. Short distance, like going from here to walk. I just, I'm just a little afraid. Sure. Do you think it has been worth for you the surgery? Pardon? Do you think the surgery has it been worth for you? Oh yeah. To do the surgery? Yeah. Okay, and you know the, uh, that this is just to show people that uh, not the ex number of the age it makes the difference, but what condition are people before? And I'm going to use this uh, 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 this video to teach other people that uh, and describe to them that even in your advanced age, we can make a huge difference in people's life. Oh, is it, all I can say is you did a wonderful job. Okay. Just tell me if you are okay for me using this material for educational and on web publishing. Yes, I am. Excellent. Now, can you tell me how old you are? Seventy-two. And can you tell me uh, who, how you have been before the surgery and what your symptoms were? Well, my back was, I wore a belt because I couldn't stand hardly to do, do anything anymore and my pain level was about a 9 okay. or 10, the worst you can get. And uh, yeah, were you, was the pain in the back or the legs or both? Oh, well, back and then it started going in my legs, yeah. Okay, now uh, when was the surgery? July 12th. July 12th, which is uh, about uh, three, three and a half months ago. Is that right. correct? Right. Now, the right after the surgery, what were your symptoms? How were you doing right after the surgery? Oh, I was doing fine. I suppose uh, if I sat still, I had uh, zero pain, and maybe when I stood up, I probably had a five until mm -hmm. I moved a little bit, and then I was probably down to a two. Okay. How are you now? I uh, know when I stand up that there's something wrong, but maybe I have a pain about a two. Okay. And then it goes away. Okay, but uh, are you slowly going back to your regular life? Yes, I am. Do you still I'm, need... I'm cheating. <laughs> Beyond doctor's orders. <laughs> okay, well, uh, how is your, how, how, do you still need any aid for walking? No, I don't. Okay, and are you happy with him so yes, far? Yes, I am. Excellent. Now, and here are the pictures. We did a um, practically total lumbar uh, uh, fusion from L1 to S1 and interbody in every single level. This is obviously a big surgery and your improvement is excellent. Obviously we need uh, to still wait about a year for the bone to really grow back together and we just have to be cautious and increase the activity slowly. But I think uh, uh, you have been doing really great using your common sense right. and slowly increasing the activity rather than just jump into it and that has been helping. So thank you very much. I would like to ask you for your permission to continue putting this uh, educational material on internet for other patients to uh, benefits of them. Right. You have my permission to do that. Excellent. Now, um, tell me first of all, how old are you? I am 63. Going to be 64 next month. Excellent. Now, um, when we did we do the surgery? We did it July 11th of 12. Okay, so about uh, eight months. Eight months. And can you tell me before the surgery what you were your symptoms, specifically back pain, leg pain? 
I motion. Had back pain, all and the pain going all the way down to my leg. Okay, one to ten. How bad was the pain? It was a ten for months. I could hardly do anything. I used a cane. I couldn't walk without my cane. Mm -hmm. And the morning I went into the hospital, I didn't know if I was going to be able to walk into the hospital. Okay. And now it's fabulous. Okay. Now, but, but let's start right after the surgery. Now, back pain and leg pain. Can you tell me how was right after the surgery the back pain, and how was right after the surgery the leg pain? It was not real bad. It, you know, you have to take its course. You know you're yeah. in pain. You're going to have the pain. But it was not... I could notice the difference right away. Okay. Now, um, if you remember, we talked about that. And um, you correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the leg pain went away right away and the back pain... Uh, yes, it pretty much went away. I didn't have much yes. pain afterwards. Yeah. But the back pain, it took a, a few... A little bit. Yeah. Uh, the back pain... It's because I probably was doing more than what I was supposed to be okay. doing. I'm not one that can sit still. Oh, okay. But then now a few months after the surgery and up to recently, tell me about how is your life, how is the back pain, and how is it going overall? Overall, it's I would say I'm good 90%. I can't complain. I mm. can do a lot. There's things I can't do, like bending. Otherwise... I can do quite a few things that I've always been able to do. Okay, now there are certain activities that makes your symptom worse. Can you tell me a little about that? With my back, it's mainly bending. I can't bend like going in and out of the oven mm -hmm. or lifting things. If I lift anything a little heavy, then I right away I'll have a little bit of a backache. But if I just take it easy, then it goes away. Yeah, and yeah, I think you have done a good job in you know figuring out mm -hmm. those things. And yeah, I think yeah, as long as you listen to your body, Right. It'll talk to you about what to do and what not to do. That's right. Now, um, I, I think if we, uh, I'm going to put as well a picture of your back uh, and the x-rays as right. well okay. uh, for educational purposes on the uh, web page. And I, I'm assuming you give me permission for that yes, as well. Yes, you have Excellent. my permission to Very do that. good, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh,